Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we're going to talk about tactics. I know it's a video I should have done two years ago, but I finally have the tools in my hands to be able to do it properly. Basically, this video is going to be summed up like that. I'm going to show you three extracts of me playing on the Copperfield map, because that's the map we start this series with. I'm going to play with three different types of tanks. The tank destroyer, the heavies and the light and mediums that I'm combining in this video because on Copperfield they share the same playstyle. I'm going to show you how to use those tanks on this map. I'm going to show you where I go with these tanks. I'm going to tell you why I go there with these tanks and what are the advantage of those positions by highlighting them on this map right here. So if you are seeking for new tactics or maybe improving yourself your own uh, your own game play playstyle to increase your win rate, you should stay till the end. So let's not lose too much time and jump directly into it, starting with the easiest to play on this map, the Tank Destroyer. Alright guys, concerning the first position, I'm gonna try to show you this position on both sides of the map before after talking further about the tank into uh, the map format you saw in the intro. So let's say that for the tank destroyer position it's quite easy to take. I decided to move around my camera from the left to the right for you to be able to watch at the map but I guess if you're not retarded you already know that position or at least you know where I am on the map right now because I literally nearly didn't move from the spawn. The cool thing about copper field is that the map is so small because it's not made for tier 7 or at least it it's not made anymore for tier 7 and nowadays those maps are so small that you don't really need to move from your spawn to be able to spot everything that's the spawn from that's the position from the spawn one don't worry the spawn two is coming as well just make sure here uh, that this position when you're taking this position to actually play as a support i know sometimes on different maps you can try to play aggressively here it's not going to work on copperfield when you're playing with the tank destroyer you need to stay in the back and you need to help your team uh, it all depends let's say it's your role in the battlefield is gonna depend on who is pushing for example if that's the heavies that are pushing aggressively against your heavies you will have to support the heavies but if they have a lot of mediums and on the other side of the map they are pushing hardcore you will have to help your mediums as well the cool thing about the position here for the tank destroyer on this map is that you are quite versatile you are not forced to push but you are forced to support which is pretty much the role of the tank destroyer in the battlefield. Here on the spawn 2 it's a little bit different because you don't go as far as you do on the first spawn. The, the main thing about this position is to be able to both help your heavies and your mediums as well. From this position as long as you keep not getting spotted you will have some fun being able to destroy everything on the medium side without them being able to uh, spot you back which is a great thing. Of course, one last thing and probably the main weakness of this position, the fact that if you want to shoot on the medium side, you are extremely dependent to your mediums. If your mediums decide not to go on the left side or the right side, if we take, uh, if we take it around with the other spawn, don't try this position or at least make sure to stay with your heavies and be protected from the left or the right side because they will be able to flank you if you don't spot them and trust me as they are mediums they will spot you before you will spot them before you are able to spot them actually that's pretty much what this first position is all about now let's jump into the statistics Alright guys, time for me to explain to you why this position is a good one. Let's take a look at this position from the spawn 1. If we do, you are here when it comes to the position. You are around here and you're playing with both your heavies located here and also your mediums that are located here, mediums or lights. Let me undo that real quick. So from this position, what are you supposed to do? Let's imagine that the main forces of your enemy are located here and they are pushing extremely aggressively here if that's the case with your tank you are gonna play by this side here to poke around and sneak your shot or even here to sneak your shots as well in order to 
help your heavies not to get overrun and waiting probably for the rest of your team to be able to circle and take them from the back. That's the first thing if they are pushing on this side. Now let's take a look at what would happen if they pushed the other way around like this against your light and mediums. If that happened, your role as from this position you have some sneaky shots here, you actually have the view range and you can sneak your shot from pretty much whatever is in this area. You will just have to support your mediums and if after they try to come back to you here, yes, you will have to move, maybe try to, to play with the boxes or uh, play all down etc to sneak your shots and uh, camping, waiting for your allies to actually spot for you without you being uh, out of cover. That's pretty much why this position is interesting because you can support, you're extremely versatile doing this, you can support your mediums here and your heavies here quite easily, but it all depends on what the enemy team is gonna do. That's the first thing. Now let's jump into the heavy position. Concerning the heavy position, it's a little bit more aggressive because instead of waiting at the first block here of heal, you are gonna go to the second one. Why? Because if you go to the second one, you actually go into the battlefield first and that's actually your role as a heavy but you also allow your mediums to get some spot on this side of the map which will allow them to flank just in case they are not encountering anybody on their side but also it will allow you to uh, make more shots simply because the closer the distance the easier it becomes for you to penetrate and from this position here if you have a good turret armor you can use it quite effectively because from here they can't push you because they are either too slow or you have your team that has your back but also because you are in a full all down position so if you have a good gun mantlet you are literally invulner invulnerable if they don't push you of course it all depends on your team as well because if your team decides to go uh, literally everybody on the right and the whole enemy team is going on the left you are gonna get pushed but if your team is following you that's an amazing position to take on this map and of course as always it works also on the other side if we reverse the spawn you're gonna see it right after but it's a pretty good position when your goal is to afraid your opponents and to stuck them into their spawn because from this high aggressive position it becomes literally impossible for them to make any moves now let's see how it goes when we actually get the same but on the other position and you're gonna see it works the same i'm just gonna leave you real quick with the replay just so you actually visualize where i'm going but that's the exact same thing the main difference here is probably that i played a little bit less aggressively because i stopped at the second hill instead of the third one never try the third one when you're in this spawn because if you do they are going to be able to completely destroy you especially their mediums on the right side of the map Let's take a look at the tactic. This time you are this guy right there and it's either you play here or you can try to advance a little bit here if you see that your team really follows you and they know how to play. But most of the time if you want to play carefully you should just stop there. It works for the 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 two the two spawns if you stay here let me explain why this position is really great you are here so from here you are in a null down position probably that their tanks are gonna be here and here if they try to sneak some shots on you you are in all down so you're invulnerable the only problem of this position might be the mediums here because from here they have some shots on you so you really need to be careful you need to play with the both the small uh uh, I was about to say town, but no, the small houses, but also with the reach line here because there are some objects that will allow you to protect your side. And it's extremely important to know how to deal with both of those things because if, for example, your whole team here gets destroyed because they have a lot of forces, a lot of mediums or light tank going there, and after they stay here to sneak some shots, you are gonna die if you play it too aggressively. So always watch the map. Now, from this position, what can you do? You can sneak 
sneak some shots here to help your mediums if needed but you can also sneak your shots on these guys here and as you close the distance you are gonna be even more effective in terms of gun dispersion you have less chances of missing your target and of course if you play extremely aggressively from this position it will prevent these guys here to be able to push therefore they're gonna be stuck in their spawn and just in case your uh, your light etc here manage to literally destroy whatever they have in front and come around it will be so easy because these guys here will have to deal with two flanks the one you're holding and the one they are taking here let me yeah and finally one last thing the, the wait up. it works also on the other side you can try to put yourself here if you're really if you really want to play it aggressively let me put my my teammates around that's going to be easier duck, 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 duck. Um, up, up and up if you are playing on this side that's the exact same thing nothing changed uh, the only difference is that instead of being here you are gonna be there that's pretty much how it works with the heavies and it's pretty effective at least in my opinion now finally for the last part we combine both the mediums and the light tanks because on this map that's pretty much how it works and it's quite easy my favorite position you're gonna see it right now and it works on both sides uh, I'm not gonna bother showing you the two sides here because it's literally the exact same thing but it's this position that I just take here in case you are getting pushed hard like it's my case there be careful and watch your map but if you manage to handle it properly you should be able to get out of there we are first gonna focus on these guys we're gonna destroy them because that's what you would do if you were a light tank always focus first on what you have in front and after try to help your heavies it's really important because if you allow those guys to pass and just kill you it's gonna be extremely difficult to get the victory because that's one of the few maps where the medium side is a key side for the win. Usually on Copperfield, the the players that manage to get the medium sides are the one that will win and if you secure this side you can after try to circle around like i'm doing right now to literally flank and destroy everything and that's why it's a key position and that's why that's how you should play it with medium and light tanks at least on this map that's how it works on the first side of the map now let's go for the spawn too but you're gonna see that it's literally the exact same thing but on this one game here I did not get pushed too hard if I remember correctly so I'm gonna be able to show you the main position the main position is near the tank uh, the water tank here is really simple you go around you wait and you flank you use the bush right there to hide yourself you have an amazing camo because you're either a medium or a light tank so you can work on it and you just sneak your shots no need to push hardcore it's useless just stay here here and try to help your heavies from there and if you see that they are pushing through here yeah you will circle around and take them from behind that's pretty much how it works now let's explain it in the map so this time as i told you we are playing the light tank let me explain to you why this is an amazing position so you start here you go around and you stop nearby here why i'm gonna explain to you from this position there are two things that are important if you are getting pushed like this by mediums and it's equal forces you stay here and it's gonna be skill based the most skill is gonna win but in case you win and you manage to destroy them from this position you can flank literally everything here and if your heavies are working correctly from the ridge line here and occupying those guys that could be fla that could be camping here and here and therefore they will not pay attention to you you can sneak around and use the distance not to get spotted and to inflict damage to just circle if you want to do all these kind of stuffs and that's why it's an amazing position and just in case if for example you are getting pushed and they are destroying you you can also come back to your heavies using this path here 
and uh, maybe they will, uh, if you are getting overrun, maybe your heavies will help you. But the cool thing is that you, you are extremely dependent with the heavies on this map because they can help you as much as you can help them because there are there are possibilities of flanking etc etc but that's pretty much how it works and it's the exact same thing on the other side but the main difference is on the main side you will be here instead of being there but that's the exact same tactic uh, i hope i made myself clear uh, in this video if you have any questions feel free to send them in the comments i will try to do more maps uh, i want to do a quick format for you to understand quickly how to play i'm showing you my what i think are the best positions uh, if you enjoyed feel free to subscribe like and share because even if it doesn't seem like it it takes a lot of time between uh, recording the video being able to do it so if you can give a like and a sub i would really appreciate it and i'm gonna see you soon for a new blitz tactic video or maybe a new stream see ya guys